it's in the key of G. And we're gonna play the G mostly like this with uh, E3 on both E strings, right? Little finger here. And the strumming is just. It's just up, down, up, down, up, down. The whole song. The hardest part about this is, you know, staying in time, not rushing, not lagging. And also, you know, hanging on to your pick, right? Like I tend to hold my pick really loose, so it kind of moves around. You know, a little tip for guys is to get some emery or some sandpaper, emery cloth or sandpaper. Just sand that, that pick down a bit so it gets rough and it will stick to your fingers a little bit better. So we got the G. And then we gonna put our first finger here and get that G major seven. So and then we go to a C. You can play the C that way or this way. If you're playing by yourself, you might want to do it that way so you can you know, alternate the bass as you strum. And then we go to A minor. And you can same thing if you're playing on your own, right? So, we start here. A minor. And then D, and we kind of want to get that F sharp note with our thumb. And you can do that D um, like a full D chord, or you can also do a D7. Now, it seems to me, watching the videos, that it's D7 in the verses, you know, over the F-sharp bass still, right? And in the choruses, he seems to do the full D. You could D, D7, you can sort of interchange those. You don't really, it's not going to make a big difference. But like I said, in the verses, he seems to do D7. In the chorus, he seems to do D. And then eventually, we get through those verses and we get to the, uh, the chorus. So we're just playing the G and then we're adding these two notes there. B1 and D2, right? It's like playing a C chord with that high G, but only instead of hitting the, the C note on A3, you're hitting, keeping the G note on e, E3. Really, really good chord. Right, then we're going to go. Just trail that bass down. Back into our put down strumming, E minor, then B minor, E mi or A minor, D, with the third in the bass. Okay, and back to G and then G7, right? You realize C. Okay, and then A7. A minor. And that's really all there is to it. So G, G major 7, C, A minor, D, over F sharp bass, G. And then right? D minor, D e minor, D e minor. Okay, so there's really not much to it. It's just a matter of uh, playing it well. <laughs> like a lot of things that are simple, right? It's how well you play it, not how simple or complex it is. So that's it for the, uh, the acoustic. And then a lot of the electric fills are doubled by the acoustic. So I'm just gonna change guitars here and uh, we'll go over the electric fills. So now we'll go over the fills and there's some really great fills in this song. Like I mentioned earlier, it's Bernie Ledden and he's just a great country player. And you know, learning these fills is like a real education in how to play country guitar, right? Anyways, the first fill 
It's not really a fill, it's sort of like the intro hook. And it's just here. Okay, so we're just gonna grab that G note on E3. And then we just slide it down a fret and arpeggiate that, right? And then... And I'm running a compressor here, so... get that kind of pop, you know. And I'm also using my fingers rather than a pick for most of this stuff. Okay, just... And then it's to the uh, G string. Right? And it's just pull-offs. Here I'm using my fingers. hammer on that B note on G4. Okay, and that's that F sharp there on the D string. And then we're going to do this cool lick. that is is it's like a D chord right but we're gonna go like that and like this like together right and then we're gonna go G string B string and then here hammering on you could either use your third finger and little finger to get those notes or you could just hammer with your third finger which is what I do and then we're gonna pluck all three strings G string B string E string slide that up to like the C right it's like a G there right and then end up on this sort of D formation of a G chord, but we're only going to really pick the G and the B string. Okay, so that whole thing. The electric guitar does that. The acoustic guitar, which by the way doubles almost all of these fills. The acoustic guitar goes like this. And it hits that harmonic on the end. And when I did the demo, I missed that. I only heard that later on, right? In the demo I just went... Just hit the open strings, but you can... definitely hear those harmonics there. So that's the difference in the acoustic and the electric in that section. And then the next set of fills is just the electric by itself and it's those real country fills. <laughs> it's just such a sweet fill, right? Um, so what we're doing there is we're kind of in that shape because we're on a, a D chord there, or a D7 chord, and we're gonna grab that uh, note on B13 because we're thinking this, right? And we're going to kind of pre-band the G string. So we've got that thing going on, right? But we're going to start with the B. And we kind of pull off to get that last note as the G11. Whoops, a little sharp there, right? Got to make sure our bends are good for this country stuff. And then we're going to come down to here, which, which is that D major pentatonic shape. 
and we're going to bend up on the G string, right? And we're going to get that E string with our little finger and the B string on the 10th fret. And do this with your fingers, because you can mute and you can really pop those strings. up there, which is B8 and D9. So that whole lick, real slow. Great lick, just love that lick. And then he does this. Which is just half step bend on B12, vibrato. And then pre bend on B10, pull off to B8, and that's the end of that sort of electric guitar by itself doing fills. And then as we move along, he's going to do this harmonic thing which is just, you know, the harmonics on that 7th fret. D string, G string, B string. And then the G string on the 5th fret. That's, you know, the next fill. And then in the chorus, or in the verse still, these are the best fills, I think, ever. He uses these a lot, where he goes... Uh, this one. a beautiful fill. Just love that fill. And like I said, it's doubled with the acoustic. It's just like an E minor shape, right? But of course that's, you know, same as C major 7, right? Same kind of thing. And we just go, just upstroke those, and it's short on the G string, and then it's, It's like a D, D chord, you know, it's like that, but just this part. And you can either, you know, downstroke or upstroke that last one. But that, you know, that slide down is important. There's that one. And then the, the very next fill is really cool and I'm going to show you actually three different fills in the same spot in this song. I'll show you two that I didn't do in the demo that I just really like. Um, but the first one is I mean how cool is that? Just awesome. So it's like you're playing a D chord right? But we just need these three the D, the G, and the B. And we're going to go back from the B again using the fingers and it, when we hit that D string, we're going to slide the whole thing down a fret. And then do down a, another fret to the C. And then we're going to go... Right? Just the G and the B. That shape. Like, that's another G chord, right? That is such a great fill. You know, a lot of these fills you can use like immediately in your own playing because this stuff is, I wouldn't call it generic, but it's its going to work over a lot of different things. They're just great fills. Now, in the same spot in the song a little later on, he's going to do this fill here where instead of going, he's going to go. That's just awesome, right? We're going to kind of lead into, you know, that D chord, but we're just playing the G string and the E string from G9. Again, with the fingers, you know, so you can really get some pop on them. And then down to this.
just one more time, sort of slower. Just priceless, just love that fill. And then there's another one. And that one is in the same spot in the song. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna go from the D note, B3, slide up from B5, B7, and then, that's a slide from G5 to G7, up to here, to E5. And then a slide from G5 up here, to, it's again that C chord, right? So. And then ending up there, okay, G7. E7. So again, just beautiful fills, you know. Really love these fills. Okay, so now we get into the chorus, and the chorus comes out of this lick. So what we've got there is just up on the 12th fret, like a G chord, right? Like that. And just hammer on. There. And then, like a D chord, and like a G chord. But just those notes. It's basically just the D string and the B string. But you could throw in the G too. And then, you can hide. What that is is it's the uh, B9 and or sorry D9 B8 and then slide that up one fret and then you can hide your lion eyes. It's a little pattern there. And your smile is a thin disguise, right? So you got the E minor, B minor, and A minor. So what we're gonna do there is sort of do chord outlines where we're gonna go just the first three notes of the chord. The first two you don't really hear, all you really hear is right. But you just kind of mute those and throw them in. And then your B minor. And then the last one is just G579. And then we're gonna back to here, right? And then we're gonna throw that in there, that F note, to make the seven. And then we do this. Another kind of cool little lick. It's just like a C chord, right? But we're just gonna do the G string, B string, and E string. And then we're gonna slide up here. Because we're on A chord there now, right? The change is, is an A. G string, E string, B string. So And that last bit, you know, you just kind of, I don't think the, the um, lead actually does anything, right? but you can just kind of quietly play the A minor, the D7, 
7. And that's the end of the chorus. And then we get into the ending, and the ending is just back to the, the beginning hook, right, where it just... And you just kind of repeat that three times. And then it kind of stopped for a minute before you do. Just a hammer on to that A note on G2. Another pull off from the B note. Open G. And then... And while the electric does that, the acoustic goes. So it's like. But it's separated. You know, it's the kind of stuff they do in recording studios to get, you know, some space and uh, just separate things. But. that way if you want like if you're playing by yourself right you know you can do that and that right where you kind of have to you know you get both fingers on the same fret which is kind of weird or you can go you know start like that and do that there's no easy way to do that I think that's why they broke it up right but this, for me, this way works the best. But it's just kind of unorthodox and feels weird. But whatever, you can get used to it. And that's the end of the song. Just love these fills. I, I think it's just, um, like I said before, it's fantastic country playing. And you can use this, uh, all this stuff in your own playing, right? Know, just really really cool stuff anyways i hope you get something out of this lesson hope you enjoy playing this song and uh just be thankful i guess that we were alive when glenn frey was here on the planet because uh he contributed so many songs that are just a huge part of our culture i mean without even knowing it everybody's heard eagle songs anyways hope you get something out of it we'll talk to you next time